Hey guys, Boy here, and this is how to farm a Blink Dagger in 3 minutes with Liquid Miracle. Obviously, this is not how to get a Blink Dagger 3 minutes into the game. This is a video about efficiency. It shows how a hero like Tinker can farm at 700 GPM so early into the game, while at the same time holding his buildings like no other hero in Dota can. And there is nothing that explains Miracle's fast timings more than the way he uses March of the Machines. First of all, I want to address jungle farming because that's very common on most heroes. If we watch Miracle from the time he gets his travels to the time he gets his blink dagger, he only goes to the jungle once. There is a right time to jungle with Tinker and that's around the 40 to 42 seconds mark. But you should never do it at the expense of any tower damage. In this specific timing window, the jungle gives Tinker the ability to clear 4 camps instead of 2, maximizing his gold intake and time usage. But notice that he also goes for it when there's no safe lane to go for. There is a level 4 sprint slaughter in the enemy team, tide hunter, disruptor, so without blink dagger he can't safely farm too far away from his own tower. If we go back to how he uses March of the Machines, we're going to see that pretty much always he's using them in a diagonal angle from where the creeps are standing. And that's because when the creeps are fighting each other, that's the optimal angle to deal damage. The only time he casts it differently is when he's anticipating the creeps coming and at that time you want to cast it perpendicular to the path they're walking. Another thing to discuss is experience lost. It's very common for Lomemar Tinkers to use March and then quickly TP away to go to the next lane, and while that can give you more farm in the long run, you lose a lot of experience. Levels are more important than ever now, especially with the talents being added. While that is not related to Blink Dagger timing specifically, I feel like it's very important to mention. In this clip, Miracle stays the whole time to get all experience and gold, and he manages to defend mid just fine. The only criteria that makes him give up on lane experience is tower damage, and that's why he TPs here with a creep wave alive to address life stealer's push. You can also see that when a second creep wave approaches, he will always march in the opposite direction he did, decreasing the time it takes to take the creep wave most of the time. You can see that while the title of this video is how to farm a blink dagger in 3 minutes, he makes sure to show in fights that are safe for him to TP to. Another efficiency thing, and that is related to how he marches, is that 85% of the time he only uses one march for each wave. that increases the amount of places he can be, and that's very important as a tinker. In the experience department, pay attention how he doesn't TP away until the catapult dies here. They still give 90 experience, so they are very important to your progression. When he goes for the jungle farm I mentioned, we can visualize stuff I mentioned earlier. He marches in one way, and then makes sure to do it somewhat in the symmetrical opposite way. This rotation is so crispy that it even gives him the room, so crisp out of them for him. There was another jungle rotation right before he gets travels, and I want to talk about it a little bit. This one is not as optimal as the other one in the dire side, since there is no room to be taken, but pay attention how this time he doesn't change the angle of march. The way that the creeps walk towards you here when you draw aggro is always perpendicular to the march direction, and he values that more than the other technique. It's quite amusing. Well, this is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe the channel. As you can see, the video style change up a little bit. I'm trying to make different videos every day. So on Mondays, we're usually going to talk about the latest stuff from professional games. On Wednesdays, we'll talk about some hero mechanic, not necessarily an entire replay. And on Fridays, you will be able to get the freshest and crispiest memes with the Things I Learned series that you all like. I hope so. As of always, this video is sponsored by Pugna, those guys are great. I just released my new series, Winners of Patch 707, so if you want to learn more about those heroes, make sure to sign up in the link in the description. They also have Oracle, a free tool that analyzes your games and compares you with higher MMR players to understand what you're not doing that you should be doing. I'm also coaching via Gamer Sensei now. If you let me stream your game after three hours of coaching session, you actually get one for free, so that's a lot of value. And that's it, guys. Hope you had a fantastic day.